Welcome to part two of this tutorial for Adobe Premiere Pro on how to cut a television style news package. Uh, in the first video, we focused on how to create this kind of basic structure of your story. Now I'm gonna focus specifically on advanced audio editing. Uh, why? Well, because audio will really give your story extra impact if used correctly. For example, let's just compare what we created in the first video to what actually went to air on television and see if you can spot the difference. So this is what we created. This Brazilian band, Samuka Ia Selva, is attempting to revive a lost legacy. Their style, a mix of funk, samba and afrobeat, harks back to a golden era of Brazilian music. We are kind of rescuing old value. It's totally fine, it gets the information across, but particularly for a story about music, I feel like it's lacking some punch. Let's have a look at actually what went to air. In particular, listen to the difference. This Brazilian band, Samuka Ia Selva, is attempting to revive a lost legacy. Their style, a mix of funk, samba and afrobeat, harks back to a golden era of Brazilian music. We are kind of rescuing old... Similar, but the difference is that we have these interludes of natural sound. Legacy. Their style... And you'll find this a lot with television because um, it's, it's surprising and it's often uh, subconscious in the audience, but those interludes of sound are really where the emotion and the impact of a story can really hit home because we're removing uh, my reporter voice, which is, uh, I guess, not a natural representation of this scene and just seeing the scene itself play out. Obviously super important if you're doing a story about music, but it's actually important with any story you're covering. Community events, protests, uh, uh, disasters, they all have opportunities to incorporate the natural sound of what you shot on the camera to make a far more impactful story in the edit. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. Let's incorporate some natural sound into this basic structure. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, after the first sentence of my voice, try and incorporate some of that singing, uh, just like they did in this clip that went to air. So um, I can see with my waveforms that this is my first sentence and that is my second sentence. This gap is the break. So I'm going to zoom in and create a cut over that gap and then move all this over, get it out of the way so I can focus on this particular section. So I want, what I want is to go from my voice to the singing back to my voice. Um, let's see how that will go. Legacy. This um, Let's extend that out. Their style, a mix of funk. Yeah, that works. Um, I think that's good um, in terms of its timing. Obviously, in terms of volume, his singing doesn't have much impact at the moment because it's so soft. So we need to raise the volume of his singing just for this section so it's at the same volume as my voice. If I do that by the method I showed you in the first video, which is just dragging this white line up, what's going to happen is it's gonna do it for the whole clip and this part of my voice is going to be overridden by his singing, which I don't want to happen either. So what I'm gonna do is, I just press Command Z to undo. I need to introduce a new concept to you, which is uh, starting to really get precise control over this white line. Um, what I want you to do is you hold Command on the keyboard, I'm using a Mac, and then left click on that white line and you start to create these blue dots. I'm gonna make four. And what that allows me to do is create a kind of sound up, a bump in the sound, but it keeps the sound down over the parts where I didn't, uh, where I have uh, no dots, if that makes sense. All right, so I raise that up just for this uh, blank section. And now let's have a listen. I have a lost legacy. Their style, a mix of... 
sounds better, but it kind of sounds like an on-off switch between soft and loud. I think we can get that sound smoother. What you do is just increase the fade ins and the fade out length. So it's kind of becoming almost like a curve and it should just sound smoother and hopefully nicer. I have a lost legacy. Their style, a mix of fun. Yeah, it sounds a lot more natural now and less like an on off switch. So I'm really happy with that sound up. See, it's not that hard to incorporate. Um, Next, I need to now, I've got this huge black cap now, so I need to uh, fill in this section. I could just go back and use this clip, but I really want that clip to be before the grab. Um, and I now have all this extra space that I need to fill. So I actually found a second clip of this saxophone. I'm gonna drag that in here. So we're gonna go singer to close up of sax to that clip of the entire band playing again like that. Let's see how that looks. Their style, a mix of funk, samba and afrobeat, harks back to a golden era of Brazilian music. We are kind of rask. Pretty good. Um, now, it's starting to come along. I also just, uh, because I want to, I'm going to incorporate a sound section here as well, in between the end of my voice and the start of the grab. Um, I think that's another really uh, good opportunity to get some natural sound in. So I will do the same thing. This time, I'm just gonna raise up the sound at the end to fill in this gap. Golden era of Brazilian music. We are kind of rescuing. Almost, but now it's sounding like there's too much of a jarring effect going on between this sound, uh, the music, and the start of the grab, right? We are kind of... It's uh, not natural. Um, the solution is I'm going to have that music play underneath him as his grab continues. Um, so what I'm going to do is extend this music all the way across. It's also extending that video, but because I've moved grab one video to track two, um, this will override that. So it'll switch between video one to video two. Okay, and now let's listen to how this sounds. Brazilian music. We are kind of rescuing old values of our music. You know, we're trying to rescue. It's working, but it's too loud. Um, so I need to get far more precise with these dots. Let's try that. Billion music. We are kind of rescuing old values. Still too loud. Of Brazilian music. We are kind of rescuing old values of our music, you know, we're trying to rescue, they're trying to, to... There we go, that sounds smooth to me now. Um, that sounds great. Um, so what I've just done very quickly is I've inserted a sound up here, a sound up here, um, and then a fade sound down underneath his voice. Um, and I just think that adds so much more impact to your story. And you can obviously get far more creative. Um, we could keep his voice talking here and then go back to vision of the, of the band playing at the end of his grab. Um, there's lots of options. Um, I just want to point out one more thing before I finish this tutorial. Um, when you start to focus on sound so much, um, it's very easy for sounds not to fit and to create that kind of jarring effect that we kind of saw before. Um, here is a perfect example, going from this saxophone to the band playing to uh, as a group. Um, what I'm going to do, I'll introduce these two options here, M and S. M is mute, which means you can mute various soundtracks. S singles the soundtrack, so you only hear one track. I'm going to single audio track two, just so we can really hear the saxophone. And listen, this transition here. It doesn't work. Um, it's not that noticeable, I know, but to me, uh, 
it, it just jars, it jars my ears. Um, there's a way to fix it, and that is introducing an audio transition between this audio track one and audio track two. Um, the way you do that is, I'll start, say we're in our project bin here. Um, click on the arrows up the top and go to effects, and then under audio transitions and crossfade, there's an effect here called constant power. Drag that over and put it in between these two audio clips. And what that will do is it's going to mix these two audio clips together over this time period and it should soften out any of those hard edges between the transition. Let's make it a little bit smaller. I think that sounds so much better to my ear. And then once we put my voice over the top of it, hopefully you won't even notice the, the, tra the change. Beat harks back to a golden era of Brazilian music. Sounds good to me. Um, I actually put those audio transitions, the constant power ones, between every single audio uh, cut and at the end of every cut as well. Um, that way it just basically fades in, fades out, and mixes all the audio so you get rid of a lot of those harsh edges. Okay, so that's how I edit audio. Uh, there is one final third step in terms of making your very first TV new pa news package, and that is creating some very basic graphics uh, to represent the name and position of your interviewees. Um, so please check out that third video in the series after this. I hope that has helped.